Hey guys, welcome back to the hunting grounds. Here in Arkansas, it has been up and down in temperature over the past week. You can see I'm in a t-shirt today. It's almost 70 degrees today, and less than a week ago, it was negative 22 degrees. But that has not kept me from coyote hunting at all. Now one thing you should always consider while coyote hunting is scent and wind direction. I think they're one of the most crucial parts of coyote hunting, and it can make or break that harvest for you. Now what the coyotes are going to do, they're not stupid creatures. They're going to circle you, try to get downwind, and try to figure out what is making that noise and blow out of there before you get a chance to harvest them. So what I suggest that you do is get in the area, set up where you can see a lot of country in front of you, get your wind blowing into some undesirable hunting location behind you, whether it be steep cliffs or a uh, thick wooded area, and try to spot those coyotes before they spot you. That's worked for me. Let's go to this week's hunt. It is freezing cold and it's about negative 22 and I am literally hurting out there. But we have a lot of fun, so here we go. Alright, so we've changed our setup. Uh, we weren't able to call anything in in the first location. So we've moved about 500 yards. We've set up overlooking this draw these fields so hopefully we can see them coming from a long ways off. This always proves to be a real good spot. Uh, we're kind of vulnerable out here but this is about the only spot we can set up. So we'll just have to watch our movements and hopefully some will pop its head up and allow us to take a shot on it. Now after calling for about 20 minutes, I was literally freezing and in pain. So I decided to get up and get out of there. I took a look at the cows and they were looking at something. And guess what? Coyotes coming right down the fence line just where I was sitting. So I tried to sit down, get the camera all set up. The camera flops down, falls over. It's crazy. Take a look at this. came right down that fence row just like I was expecting him to. Uh, got him to stop, got him on video. And so we're gonna go take a look at him now, see what we got. Yeah. I'm a little pumped. After not getting that one I called in yesterday, I'm glad to get this one. Dropped him in his tracks. Let me tell you, five degrees makes it freezing cold out here. Oh almost painfully cold. I knew these coyotes would be up moving. Uh, needed to take some out of here. They were moving last night. I could hear them calling. 
So, let me tell you, it's just cold. My face hurts right now. Wish I had something covered up. I'm not too far from the house. Take a look at this coyote, which I'm really excited about. You just have no idea. I love taking coyotes off the property. It's good for the fawn population and turkey population. Just good all the way around. So, we have an abundance of them here. We'll be back out probably in the next few days with the snow. Trying to get some more. So let's take a look at this dude. He's just right up here. Well, here it is. And like I said, it is freezing out here. I'm uh, trying to get the video camera to work. The video camera almost doesn't want to work because we're about five, negative five degrees actually. But this coyote came in perfectly this morning. I was actually fixing to change setups because we've called for quite a while here. Um, after getting up, we noticed the cows. We're looking this direction. It's a good thing if you ever are hunting around any kind of livestock, they'll give it away if there's a predator in that area. So, saw the cows looking down here, got set up again, and this guy came in perfectly, squeaked to get him to stop, and took a perfect shot on him, dropped him in his tracks. So, it's actually it's a young female. I don't think she's ever had pups yet, so probably about in her first year. Not the biggest coyote in the world, but any coyote that's dead, that's a good coyote. So, uh, good morning. Hopefully we'll be out again tomorrow or this evening. Now that is one less fawn killing, turkey nest stealing coyote off of our property. And you can bet we're going to be back out there within the next couple weeks trying to harvest some more coyotes. Now what I suggest you guys do if you're going to try to harvest some coyotes yourself is go out and buy a couple different calls. Now what I suggest that you use is a long range call and a coaxer. Now what I like to use for my long range call is a rabbit in distress because it's pretty loud. It's really going to reach out there and bring those coyotes in from a distance. And then I like to get a coaxer. It's probably going to be a mouse squeak. It just brings those coyotes in a little bit closer where you can take a good ethical shot. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys take something away from it. You know, we got a lot of cool videos coming up and I hope you guys stay tuned in. And as always, have a better than average day. <laughs> you had me laughing on me before you said. We got a lot of cool stuff coming in, up. You almost had it! <laughs> ah. Okay, well that is one less fawn eat. eat, 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 eat.